Nigeria get a total of 82 million hectares of land with person fit farm on top of its total land area of 91 million hectares. The agricultural sector, they contribute just a little over 20 percent to the overall gross domestic product where the country they produce. My name is Michael Jagede. Um, basically, I'm a farmer. You're welcome to my farm. This is basically what I do aside from the normal uh, five to, uh, eight to five daily work. I, I also run a farm. And then today you're welcome to my farm. Uh, basically on this farmland, you have a lot of things that I've planted there. I have um, uh, here, I have cassava, I have maize, I have vegetables. So basically I do with crop farming basically. So uh, any moment from now, I intend to go into uh, livestock and then um, poultry businesses and all that. So. Um, in this farming business, I've actually, I, I, uh, why did I even choose to be a farmer, basically? Um, this, this, this job, I ventured into it basically because of my passion for, for, for agribusiness and then my passion for youth entrepreneurship. I've actually been into this for a very long time. I've faced a lot of challenges in farming. There was a time I farmed in Oshun State, basically, and I planted watermelon. And uh, during those times, I was living in Lagos, uh, as I am currently, so if I live in Lagos, and my farm is in Ocean State. The, the distance was quite a lot of challenges for me. And then in, in other challenges I faced in farming, I should have actually been bigger than this, but because of the financial constraints and um, other land issues, sometimes you, you farm on somebody's land, you might have, maybe probably you bought a land or you rented uh, a land. and. Uh, somebody comes again and says, oh, this farmland is my forefather's farmland, so you are going to move your business away from here. It becomes a challenge. The farm that you have just planted maybe about two weeks or, or three weeks ago. So these are the challenges we face, financial challenges, basically, and the equipment. Sometimes if you see the road that actually leads to this place, the tractor can come here. It's a very bad road. Our major aim in this farm, or my, my major pursuit is to ensure that uh, we keep empowering the state, the nations. We keep, uh, you know, increasing food productivity, and then bring about uh, employment. If I've been able to, if I've been able to do big farm now, I could, you know, employ one or two persons that will work on this farmland for me. As it is move, at, at the moment, I don't have funds. I, I don't have finance to actually push this thing forward. Um, how do I intend to go about this? I would have loved if I could see. Um, a platform, a, a financial platform where I can actually plug into government assistance or initiative where I can actually see some funds. Seafood, especially fish farming for Nigeria, they very popular. Fish farming, now one business where person fit make plenty money on top. Among all the fish species, catfish farming gets great demand for inside Wiobodo, Niger. My name is Abraham Olalua. I'm a, I'm a fish farmer, so I'm the one that's managing this uh, pond. Uh, what I'm saying is that uh, the problem we, human, we do face is that uh, we sometimes we didn't see buyer to, to buy the fish. So we need buyer. So after that, we need money to, to make it more than this. So the, our, our vision is to make uh, this farm. This fish farm to big. So, this is a thick, as I was saying, this is still two and a half months. So, two and a half months. So, if it will be three months now, we will we have, we have, we have selling it in lunch. So, after the lunch, big, big, that, that is table, table size, is, is six months. So, that's how the fish, that fish be.
he gets many reasons why person supposed to invest for inside agriculture. Sabi people don't come as I talk say agriculture na low risk investment where they balance half price of things they take increase for inside market and they make money where we they hold for hand get value. However, they don't add say government needs to put more hands on how they could take support farmers for inside Biobodo Niger. The toxic government supposed to provide money for farmers and also took eye for inside how we take the process some of the agricultural products then because this one now one of the major problems we farmers they face for Niger. To enjoy more of this our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.